Hi friends, welcome to the Trinity. So my name is Ratan. Guys, we are discussing number system, right? So I think last class we done the perfect number and uh, strong number, right? Because today class, uh, let me write the code for the prime number. So what is a prime number? Because if you take the prime number, tell me guess what the prime number? The prime number means basically, yeah, so for example, 5 is a prime number. The number it is divisible by 1 and itself. Just tell me guess the number is what? The number is uh, the number is divisible by yeah divisible by one and itself right? Only one and itself guys. Only one and itself right? It doesn't uh, divisible by other numbers. The number only divisible by one and itself is called prime number. You got the point right? Only one and itself. I think five is divisible by one and five only. If we take the seven is divisible by 1 and 7 only. If we take the 13, 13 is divisible by only 1 and 7, right? 1 and 13, sorry. 1 and what? 13. If we take the 17, 17 is divisible by 1 and mm, 1 and what? 17, right? Exactly. So the number is divisible by the number is divisible by 1 and only, only 1 and itself. That is called prime number, right? Exactly. See, guys, to write the prime number code, uh, simply can follow the algorithm here. Uh, only three steps we need to check <clears throat> step one just take the input from end user right hey, you, got, you got the prime number right what the prime number tell me the number is divisible by only one and itself five is the prime number it can be divisible by only one and five it means the remainder should be zero right yeah seven means what ma divisible, divisible means what the remainder should be zero okay so divisible by specific number means what divisible by uh, number means uh, which one? Reminder should be. Tell me, guys. Reminder is reminder is zero, right? Exactly. Guys, divisible by number means reminder is zero. Five is one. One five are five. Reminder is zero. Five ones are five. Reminder is zero. Remaining any numbers are divisible here? No, right? Even seven, thirteen, seventeen. For example, if you take the six, I think six can be divisible by one, and it can be divisible by two also. It can be divisible by three also. So then, this is not prime number, right? 6 is not prime number. Okay, this is a prime and the 6 is not a prime number, right? Exactly. Guys, code is very simple. Uh, take the input from end user. Take a number to check prime. Uh, take the number uh, to check prime, right? Uh, to check the prime. To check the prime, guys. Take the input. Guys, here you can take the for loop. To, take the, to, uh, to perform the divisible, right? Here, take the for loop. Guys, here, take the, take the for loop. Uh, to check the divisibles to check the uh, to check the tell me guys divisible right take the for loop to check the divisible here you can observe one point here here you can observe one point to take to check the divisible here take the for loop to check the divisible right mm, here what we understood that you know for loop we need to take the for loop for uh, you ignore the one and five okay ignore the one and five ignore the one and five means what start the for loop from where tell me Ignore the 1 and 5 means take the for loop int i equal to what? Tell me here int i equal to what? 2. 2. Up to 4 we have to check her. Yes, up to 4 we have to check her. So you ignore the 1 and 5. So 2 to 4. Yes, yes or no? 2 to number basically. So 2 less than or equal to what? Number, right? Yes, less than or less than or equal to now. Ignore the 1 and 5. 5 also ignore. If you, if you put the less than or equal to number or also, uh, 5 also included, right? That's what put the less than number. So you are include we are excluding the one and five. You are checking like two, three, four. Right? Two, three, four, guys. In the two, three, four, anything is matched. You take the initially fact equal zero. Guys, initially fact equal what? Zero. You can take something like you know fact equal to zero. Then you can write the fact plus plus. Fact plus plus, and we can use the break statement. That's all. Then what happened? Tell me, we are excluding one and five, two, three, four. In between the two, three, four, anyone is like reminder zero. I check the if condition. If what number <coughs> number modular i, which is double equal zero, reminder is zero. If the reminder is zero, two, three, four, anything is reminder is zero, factorial is increased. Anything is matched, divisible means what? Uh, then this is not a prime number, right? Guys, yes or no? Fact plus plus. One time, if it increased, one thing is also matched, that is not a prime number, right? 
that's all guys that is called factorial sorry factors think you got the point right take the number ignore the numbers 1 5 ignore the numbers 1 7 middle numbers you can check the factor any factor is match the factor plus plus factor plus plus means then what happened guys obviously hmm it's not a prime right exactly guys check the third point check the factor equal 0 or not guys if any number is not divisible by i any num sorry any any yeah, number is not divisible by any i value then definitely factor is zero right <clears throat> factor is zero means what tell me ha uh, that is prime number or not yeah check the factor is uh, tell me yeah, check the factor is what factor is zero check the factor is zero or not if it is zero yeah factor is what zero so if it is uh, uh, zero then it is prime right then it is prime guys because it is not divisible by any number in the middle in the middle if it is zero then it is a uh, it is prime if it is not zero tell me guys if it is not zero then it is not prime right then it is what then it is not prime guys like this we need to go for the steps guys it's not prime take the number to check the prime take the for loop to check the divisible divisible values but you ignore the 1 and 5 because the number is divisible by 1 and 5 it's one only 1 and itself right only 1 and itself right exactly if in the between you can take take the between data right take the between data in between anything is matched tell me guys <clears throat> between anything is matched a fact fact plus plus right exactly see guys for example you taken the 6 6 means 1 is there 1 is we are not taking 2 I think uh, number six, uh, six modular two, six modular two remainder zero. Then this two is matched. Uh, two is matched means then what happened? Fact plus plus. There is a prime number or not a prime number? I think you got the clarity right. We are ignoring the one and itself. We are checking the remaining values. Remaining values any one is divisible. Because uh? remaining values any one is divisible, then we are making the fact plus plus. If it is a plus plus means what? It is not a prime number, right? Not a prime number, guys. Let me write the code for that. Just take the class. Class name is test class. Step one: take the input from end user. Tell me, guys. Take the yeah. Take the uh, input from end user, right? Just to take the input from end user, what class required? Tell me here. Scanner as equal to what? New scanner. We can take the. We can say like system dot in right. System dot what? System dot in right, yeah. Take the data like this. Uh, then give the message that do enter a number to check the prime. Take the input from end user. Enter a number. Enter a. Tell me enter a enter your number. Enter your number to check. Ah, uh, uh, to check. Okay. Ah, uh, prime or not? To check prime or not? Enter a number. Enter your number to check the prime or not? Then take that number scanner dot what next int. Then I take in that number right int number you can take. That's all guys. So, so taking the number from end user is done. And we should import the class. What the class here? Import uh, Java dot util dot what am I? Scanner right. That's okay fine. Guys, so step one is completed. Step two. So take the for loop uh, to check the. Tell me guys to check the divisibles right. to check the divisible okay to check the divisible guys from tell me guys i told you that you don't take the one and itself right you can take don't take the one and itself that's what i will starts from 2 2 i less than equal to what number right yeah you don't take the i less than or equal to guys equal to means what that number also included i less than up to before that number we have to check right yeah 2 2 i less than equal number then you can write the i plus plus right Exactly, guys. Divisible means what? If uh, tell me, guys. If uh, number modular ten, guys. Modular sorry, modular uh, i. That number you given like you know, for example, you given the okay five. So it starts from two. Sorry, starts from two. Five modular i. Five modular i means what? Uh, Remainder is not zero. Three modular i. Guys, five modular three. Remainder is not zero. Four modular five. Remainder is not zero. So anything is not match, right? 
that's what guys take the for loop to check the divisible right guys into fact factorials you can check the into fact i taken here fact equal to sorry fact of plus plus guys fact what plus plus right initially take the fact equal zero okay that's it you are taking like you know in between right one two five means you are not taking one you are not taking five so you are checking only two three four two three four two three four that values number that number is divisible by two three four that number is divisible by two three four then fact plus plus then it is not a prime guess you got the point huh? exactly guess third point is what tell me here uh, check the prime prime right uh, check the tell me here check what check the prime right how can you check the prime tell me here if hmm, number double equal to what number double equal to tell me here not number i think right fact fact double equal to zero if fact double equal to zero then what we should do tell me factorial zero anyone is not matched in the between the data not matched not divisible right between the data is not divisible means that is a prime number the system dot out dot printer enough tell me your number is what your number is uh, what you can say prime right your number is prime guys else block you can take just you can take else block your number is prime or not prime tell me your number is not prime that's all guys we so only just three steps guys first to take the input then take the for loop to check the divisible check the divisible check the prime or not that's all after reading the data you can close the scanner s dot which method guys here close method right that's enough as you can save the code in local disk d let me save this file is what test dot java file and uh, open the command prompt <clears throat> open the command prompt and we can write the local disk uh, d we're moving with local disk d guys how to compile guys java c application is what test dot java what is compiled fine so java the class is what class here test class right check the number enter your number to check the prime or not i told you five is a prime see guys five number is a five prime seven is a prime nine is a prima three is nine is prima prime means what one and it's only one and itself but nine can be divisible by three also right that's why nine is not a prime because you can take the 11 11 is a prime if you take the 12 12 is a prime or not I think 12 is not a prime, right? Because uh, it can be divisible by 2 and 3 and 4 also and 6 also. Hmm? That is not a prime. Okay, 17 is the prime. Yeah, 19 is the prime. Huh? Yes. I think you got the point, right? Finally, we are taking the between numbers. We are ignoring the starting number, ending number. Any between number is matched, then fact becomes plus plus. Fact becomes plus plus, and we need to break it because one is matched enough, right? Guys, we need to match one is matched means enough. We need to increment the counter. In between, even first one, one is matched, that is not a prime, right? Guys, you got the point. That's what when you got the one, just you can break it. If it is, it is a break, then what happened here? between how many match right is it taking the count increment right but you want count increment just one is also matched then it is not a prime one is also matched it is not a prime that's what you can take the one increment one is matched fine break it guys one is matched means what break it right yeah guys code is compiled fine code executed fine so if you take the seven your number is a prime so enter the eight it's not a prime enter the nine it's not a prime enter the 20 uh, what you can say 20 uh, 9 29 is a prime yes guys okay, is what prime right exactly guys okay, clear up yeah so guys please take these notes and like the video comment the video subscribe to our channel to get the more videos but before writing the code just you can check what we should do take the uh, take the number to check the prime yeah, take the for loop to check the divisible fact equal zero starts from two to ignore the one and uh, tell me guys what the point here uh, ignore the one ignore the one and uh, one and last number right last number ignore the one and the number ignore the num one and the number check the remaining 
okay check the middle digit right ignore the one and the number check the middle digits uh, middle numbers middle numbers if any number is divisible then that is not a prime right if any number is divisible then okay, so if any number is uh, divisible then that is hmm, then that is what uh, that is not prime because any number is divisible now ignore the one and the number here take the for loop here take the for loop to check the divisible right ignore the one and the number ignore the one and the number check the middle numbers if any number is divisible then then if any number is divisible then that number is that number is what not a prime that number is what not a prime that's it guys enough in algorithm don't include this code enough three points are enough just you got the prime number right the number divisible by only one and itself that is called prime number divisible means what remainder should be zero i think this code is clearer yeah guys like the video comment the video subscribe to our channel get the more videos thank you guys bye